smog, carbon emissions, greenhouse gases. There's a big effort worldwide to curb the increasingly serious air pollution in our cities. Now this week, authorities in France, followed by those in Britain, announced the goal of banning the sale of new gas and diesel powered cars by 2040. Now such a ban could ultimately speed up development and sales of electric and hybrid electric vehicles worldwide. Engineers are in fact working hard to make such environmentally friendly cars more attractive to consumers. Our VOA's science and technology correspondent George Putich has our report. Electric propulsion is slowly but surely taking over from the fossil fuel engines. All cars released uh, to the market after 2019 will be electrified. Then we talk about three levels. First step is to recover the brake energy in a, in a hybrid system. Second is a twin engine system we already have on the market and then the all uh, electric propulsion third level. The interim hybrid electric cars already have energy management systems that switch from electric to gas propulsion depending on the speed and required power. But researchers at the University of California, Riverside, say there's still room for improvement. What we're doing and proposing is not only look at the sensor data on the vehicle, but look at data also outside. So traffic data, traffic signal data, uh, and also looking at patterns and how people drive. And joining us now to talk about the future, we welcome VOA science and technology reporter George Putich. Thank you for that report, George. Fascinating stuff. I mean, I almost get the, the sense that we're on the cusp of something big happening with electric cars. Do you get that feeling too? No, I don't, because uh, there, we are still waiting for uh, several breakthroughs. Uh, the most important one would be with batteries. Batteries are- That's still a major getting, challenge, huh? Yes, batteries are very good, but they can be better, and they have to be better in order to increase the mileage of the electric cars so that people would say, okay, if I buy an electric car, I will be able to visit my, you know, my family, my relatives, uh, several hundred uh, um, kilometers it's away. It's because of the range issue, back. right? Uh, it, it, electric cars don't have a further range than say, uh, what is it, 300 uh, miles? Yeah, about is, is 300 miles. Uh, one issue is the range. The other issue is the price. The, uh, the uh, electric cars are still a little bit uh, more expensive than uh, uh, gas-powered cars. And it makes sense that, for instance, Tesla is making very expensive, started with very expensive cars in $100,000 right. range, which is uh, uh, but the new affordable for most, uh, most The new model consumers. is selling for 35000 yes, right? Correct. So, I mean, that makes so it brings they're, it... So, they're uh, uh, increasing uh, the um, technology and they're getting better they, and they're finding ways to save in order to attract customers with uh, regular income. Where we seem to be seeing a lot of progress, though, in, is in countries like China, uh, now currently buying more electric vehicles than just about any other country right now. Why is that? Is it because they're providing incentives or is it because pollution is so bad in Beijing that they have to do something? It's both. And there's another thing. The, uh, uh, the regulations in the United States are much more stringent than in China. You know, the, the safety uh, uh, concerns uh, are so high that uh, people do not want to I mean, manufacturers do not want to risk uh, putting a car on the market that will, I don't know, maybe catch fire like the, um, uh, 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 the, the berries on, remember the um, uh, Boeing uh, Dreamliner? Yes. You know, that was a big problem and big concern. So they, they're going slower in this country and some other countries than in China. But the fact that uh, companies such as Volvo and that countries like France and Britain are sort of imposing kind of deadlines. I mean, Volvo is saying by 2019 we will start producing nothing but, but hybrid cars. That has to speed up development and technology, don't you think? Yes, that's correct. And uh, the, the, the authorities in France and, uh, and uh, Britain and also in Germany and Netherlands are sending clear message to their uh, uh, public, you know, start thinking about it. Be prepared that in 
a certain amount of time we will have to switch to electric propulsion because we have such a huge problem with, with, uh, with pollution in our cities. And, and we're looking at, I, I guess, major infrastructure changes. A lot of the software uh, uh, folks that you talked to already are, are thinking about that yes, sort of a holistic a of, approach. Yes, a lot of uh, um, uh, laboratories all around the world are experimenting. All uh, major manufacturers are experimenting. They, they do not want to be left behind. I got a, I got a wrap now, but why don't you have an electric car yet? Uh, I will have one soon, as soon as it uh, comes to my price range. I'll probably <laughs> join you then. And thank you very much, George Putic, uh, and of course all our correspondents. That is our show this week. Make sure you stay up to date with what's going on around the world. It's as close as your smartphone or tablet. Just bookmark us at voanews.com. We're also on Facebook and YouTube at VOA The Correspondents. I'm Milar Sega. Thank you for watching. And for now, so long from Washington.